just started you and welcome to another tutorial today now we'll be continuing from where we stopped the last time this is the pattern we drafted from um smoky dress uh from butter neck dress so today now we're cutting on fabric i'll be showing you how to sew it and then um, that day i've made i, I made mention of the size of the flower that if you're not adding anything on that you just smooth to wherever you want and then it just show like something like a peplum down but this time we're adding a spiral flower so i'll also show you i'll also do a tutorial on how to make a spiral flowers and you get notifications if you subscribe to the channel you definitely get the notification well so i'm going to i'm placing i placed the pattern now on the fabric i'm just going to cut through already added our allowance already so i'll just cut through like this the pattern is on the, the fabric is on hold so that's just it so we just follow it like this and then cut I'm not adding any extra here. I'm yeah, going to be sewing yeah. from here half inch. I will use half inch to join the flowers here. So this is the front pattern. I've cut it. I told you, like I told you, it's on hold. So I'm doing the same thing with the back. I'll still place the back pattern on on the fabric folded, and then I'll cut. Now to show you something for the neckline for the of the front for of the back, I want it to come up. So I will not start exactly. It could just look like one inch or half on the back neckline. So after sewing, we could trim it out because we don't want after we sew the back to come in down the left way. So we want the back neck to be raised up. So that one. Then we want to cut this other part. I just wanted to show you this. Leave at least an inch to differentiate the back of the front because the neck, front neck is supposed to come down while the back neck is up. So I'm so place your tape now back on the fabric like this. Place your tape. You're not you're not measuring. What you're doing is just just as a guide. Mark one inch apart. One inch mark. So just place your tip. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like place it like this. One inch. Just marking one one on after every one inch you put a mark. So you could do half inch, but I want to do one inch distance. So it's on this one inch mark we'll be sewing our um our trade through. So, but you're not doing it on the wrong side, I'm just doing this to show you. So, by the time you sew your tread on this, it will shrink. But you'll be doing it on the right side because this is the part you'll be putting on your machine. I'll show you how to piece the machine. So, you could just, but on your own with your eyes, you could know what to do or you could roll through your dress if you want to roll through it as long as the, the lines of uh, your chalk will not show. You could clean it, but this is, this is to make it very easy for you. So just place it on the right side, on the right side of the fabric, and then mark one inch. One inch. So this one inch mark. So to do it from start to bottom, you roll it all through. So after marking it, you see what it looks like. Now so you can see the lines now put here. So when you want to start the other part of the dress, this one is on hold. I just put there so that it will be easy. Just leaving it open, drawing the line from here to here, to the heart. So on hold is easy. When I'm done with here, I do the other side. So um, one thing I want you to know is after doing this now. When I got here, like, this is one inch difference. So this is from here to here, like still one inch. So it's the same thing. I'm starting from down here. I don't want to start from up here. You see now that here started from here. Why here started from here? So if I want to mark one inch here, this one inch will not correspond to this. Do you understand? I have to now trace the line to know where this one inch is going to meet. But if I start from the down here, I'll be able to tell where to stop here. So just watch, just watch. Don't get confused. Just start from under. You started this off from top, just start this side from under one inch mark. So just mark it through like that, one inch apart. Use your tape again, one inch apart. So 
when I'm done, you see it. So now I want to place, I marked it, I want to place my ruler, then I'll join the lines, the points together to get the line. Just faint something that only you should see, because it's not a permanent line. Just something that you should see, just to guide you when you're sewing. So it's on this line you're sewing your uh, trade on. See, it is very faint, but you could see it. So it's this line that will go through. So you could choose to do half inch apart. You could choose to do one inch apart. So whatever you want. So I just did one inch apart so that you will see what it looks like. So this is it. You can see. Yes. So this is it. You can see the lines now. This is a lot easier now. So you just place it on your sewing machine and so. So just turn the fabric to this side, you do the same thing. So you do it for the back and the front of the fabric. So by the time you're sewing your smoky thread, so when you are smoking, you just place each of the line on your needle. Your smoky thread will be under, your normal thread will be on top. As your smoking is shrinking, you go to the next line, go to the next line, go to the next line, and then you're done. So this makes it a lot, lot easier. I'm very sure it's a lot more easier like this. So we we'll just mark the second side, then we we'll do this for the back pattern. But by the time you're now perfect with this, you might not need to mark just so you use your eye to tell the distance. Lines, see it's the way this time. So you just to sew through from one end to the other end. But when, when I'm sewing, you see what it looks like. By the time I'm done sewing, all these lines will start disappear. But if it doesn't go out completely, because we're using a tailor's chalk, if it doesn't go out completely, then you just wait fabric just like this on it and it's gone. This chalk doesn't stain fabric so so this is the elastic thread we've reeled. So just put it in the shuttle and then just fix it the way you fix normal thread. So now fix it in our machine then try to pick it so this is it so the next thing to to do now you know we put lines on our fabric already so you just to put it now place it on the machine follow the lines now if you look at this now the right side is facing up while the wrong side is facing down so the smoky thread will be behind on the wrong side of the fabric by the right side will be carrying the normal thread so the thread that will be on the right side should be a thread with matching color so just sit through so you see it's gathering already on its own so you sit through all the lines This is all we do throughout. This is the dress we've smoking or done smoking. So, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is when you're smoking, you add um, to the length of the fabric. So, as much as you're adding to the side, you also add to the length because of shrinkage. When it shrinks, it will reduce the length. So, add. So, as you added four inches, you could add two or three inches. Um, on the length of the normal length of the dress so that when it shrinks it shrink back to what you want or you could trim the excess but it's better when it's longer than when it's too short so this is just it so i'll just fold this edge then join the sides together and our alternate top gown is ready of the tutorial on how to make a smoky dress well it's not so easy but it's easy right so this is the this is art form you can see it's very beautiful smoky dresses are always very beautiful that are in a little bit time consuming and i added sleeve to the sleeve i just added elastic just for the piece of fabric no measurement just added elastic yeah just to fit here and then added elastic and then joined it by the arm open and that's it and then trimmed it so that is just it also this is how to make a smoky gown 
So if you've not clicked on the subscribe button, please click on the subscribe button. We're about hitting 1,000 subscribers. So please invite your friends, give them the link so that they can subscribe so to hit 1,000 milestone subscribers. Thank you for the 700 plus subscribers. Thank you guys for staying with me from the first subscriber to the number 700 and and we're hoping to have 1,000 plus. Thank you guys. I'm really grateful. Bye-bye.